Hello everybody, I thought I'd give an introduction to a camera I bought in the Ukraine. It's the first Russian twin lens reflex camera ever made. This one was made in about 1948. It's a Komsomolats, uh, or Komsomolats, say that again. It's made of Bakelite has a zone focus lens, a fixed tops lens. It's what's known as a pseudo TLR. In other words, the top lens is fixed, it doesn't focus. Uh, the bottom lens zone focuses on this small ring on the bottom. Um, this camera was modelled on the Voigtlander Brilliant from, I believe, 1932. This one was made after the model, I believe it's the Model 6, the Voigtlander 6. So what I'm going to do is turn it up and let you have a look. The lenses are not coated uh, from what I can look at them. The camera was cleaned by the guy I got it off. There's a couple of specks of dust on the mirror, but um, um, I don't know why that's there if he said he cleaned it, but anyway. It all works. It, uh, if I just put it there against the towel, it all doth work here, and I'm going to prove it to you. This is the 100 shutter speed. There you are, that's 100. And I'll go on the Bensi Thinko, so you can see that it works on that. So it's all working. The focus is working without a problem. And um, the only thing that was wrong with it, that all these models use the same back right up to they started producing the smaller, the one with the smaller screw hole underneath. And um, this back, the actual pressure plate was rusty. And I had another back. And I thought, well, I'd better use the other back. That one's terrible. Uh, so um, that's the only thing that's not original, but it's the same back, the wobbly same back anyway. So uh, that's the back that's on there. And when I take the other back and put next to it, you can't tell the difference. This one's got the red window and the window block, so that's the same on the other back. Uh, what I'll do is I'll open the camera, or the camera error. This has got the wooden spool, which I won't use. And the reason I won't use the wooden spools is because those spools are collapsible. No, and I'm not going to ha take that to a lab and then I don't get it back. As you see the lenses is clear because it's been cleaned. So I was told it was cleaned. So I believe, or I believe, which is a kind of gel you rub on your achy muscles. So what I'm going to do now is close the back back up. It's got a bit of a, a gap on the back corner. Not sure why that is. Um, so I'm not sure why that is. It's a bit weird how that's like gone like that. So I'm hoping no light gets in there. But I can always bend that catch slightly. And I just hope um, that that will do. Anyway, I'm sure I can do some. If not, I'll have to put the other the other back back on. That's the front piece. It opens up and it's been cleaned and that. It's been painted by the look of it. Uh, I got another one of those finders, brand new. Uh, but it's not quite the same as that one. So um, this badge is stuck on or riveted on. So you can't get it off as a problem. So um, I'll have to keep that top. And when you look underneath, it's got that socket. Uh, the other one, as I say, what's happened is where the pressure plate is, I'll show you. Under the pressure plate, uh, which is, I'll show you. That's the pressure plate. On the other one, it's rusty, and it's not right either. It's only attached on one end. So, of course, I had to change that back, and it's not 100% tight. Um, so I may have to look at tightening one of those hinges, uh, one of those um, thingy jigs. Uh, well, <laughs> try to get 
try and see if I can bend them over. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Seems to be all right. You've got to be careful with these things. You don't want to break them. Oh, that's beginning to tighten up now. So um, maybe that's what I needed to do. Just push them down slightly. You know, sometimes you've just got to bend them slightly and give them a bit of a bend. That's what I'm doing now. <laughs> And then that way, <laughs> you know, you've got to be careful with these things. You can't go mad. You've got to be, ah, that's it. Guess what? It's worked. I just had to bend those slightly. They were slightly out. Got a bit of a bend in those. It's amazing what you can diddy do when you put your mind to it. This one doesn't have the frame counter. So, um, it's just got the numbers on the back. But and that little panel is where you keep your filters, if you've got the filters, that is. All you do is you just swing it round, and inside there's two metal clips. That's where your filters sit in. The later models don't have those clips, it's just open. And that's where you put your yellow filter, and your red filter. The prism in this will be glass and the reason it will be glass is because it's too early for the plastic um, and I just sorry the camera's a bit wavy that's the case or as I call it the Cassie uh, I've got the strap uh, but I'm using a strap on another camera so uh, um, I bought another strap for the other camera then I can put it back on here but anyway, that's my first kind of review. The Consomelats 1948. And apparently, the Consomelats was an armoured tractor. Uh, when I looked at a picture of it, it was actually, it looked like a tractor with a gun on it. Uh, with some seats that looked like they were out of an old minibus. So I don't know quite why it was called that. But they also had a submarine they called the Consomelats as well. So I'm hoping that this will interest you. I also have every Lubatel that was ever made. They made um, five different models of Lubatel. They made the one, the two, the Olympic, which I call the Model A. And then they made the B. And then they did the, um, the number two. And then they did something called the Universal. I've got a brand new Universal. It's still in the packet up there. Anyway, that's it. So we'll say bye-bye, everybody. And I hope that you enjoy. So I say this one's got the old-fashioned bottom. I don't have another bottom. All these bottoms fit. Even the um, the one, the Lubatel 2 bottom will fit this body. It's the same moulds. So if I got another number two body, I can swap the back. I'll swap the back. That way, I can use the tripod. I can't put this on a tripod because I don't have a, an insert that small, well that big. So we've got to wait for a number two that's in good neck, but the lens is stuffed or something like that. Then I can change it over. Muchas gracias, everybody. Muchas gracias. Goodbye in Spanish. <laughs>